Hello everyone, welcome back. We got a trade to discuss. A major trade just went down over the past couple of hours, and I want to discuss it right here. We'll get to all of that coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Intent Hockey Channel. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Thank all your support and I will to all of you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. And don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. So you can also listen to this video. Now, we have had a major trade happen here over the past couple of hours. Uh, it's a major trade and I want to discuss it here. So I am going to do my regular news video. It should be up on YouTube either by the time this hits YouTube or a couple of hours afterwards. Uh, but this is going to be an interesting trade to discuss. So Jacob Markstrom, who we just put as number Number two on a recently put out trade bait board on our end to end hockey blog. I'll link it in the description down below if you guys want to see the full 30 uh, player trade bait list. But number two on a trade bait list was Jacob Markstrom. He was a guy who I thought was definitely going to get traded. Sounded like he was going to get moved. He indeed has been moved. So the Flames have hooked up with New Jersey Devils, which were the two teams that were working on a Markstrom trade before the uh, deadline. Uh, so those two teams hooked up again and they have finally completed the Markstrom deal. And the deal is as follows Jacob Markstrom has been traded by the Calgary Flames to New Jersey Devils with $1.875 million of his contract retained. So that will mean that Markstrom goes to New Jersey at a $4.125 million cap hit and he goes to New Jersey while the Devils send the Calgary Flames Kevin Ball, who's a solid third pair defenseman, and a conditional 2025 first round pick that will be top 10 protected. So this is a massive deal for both sides. Now for Markstrom, he had to waive his no movement clause to go to New Jersey. It's not like he was already willing to do that in season, so I don't think it's too which was a surprise he'd be willing to do that right now. Uh, he's got this year plus next year on his contract and with $4.125 million cap it after the salary retention, that's not half bad at all. Uh, Markstrom's going to be probably tandem with a guy like Jake Allen and those are probably going to be the tandem partner for the Devils for the next couple of years. So that's interesting to note. For Markstrom in Calgary, he had a pretty good season. I mean, three years ago, I think he was in the Vesna conversations how the Flames get to the playoffs. This past couple of years hasn't done overly great. Uh, not this past year, but two years ago at 892 state percentage 2.92 GAA in 59 games played and then this past year in 48 games played had 2.78 GAA and 905 save percentage so better than the year prior but still not overly great now he is on a bad Flames team and I talked about it before that Flames defense was extremely awful towards the end of the season so I don't think it's overly surprising he has bad numbers but I think if the Devils could play a better defensive structure around Markstrom he's going to be a fantastic goaltender for this uh, team so the Devils need a starter uh, we know that Van Check and Schmid went into the season last year to be their tandem. Never worked out. Schmid was sent to the minors. Dawes did all right when he was called upon, but he's still young. He probably needs some more time in the AHL. Vanacek was not doing overly good, so they moved Vanacek. Brought in Allen and Kakinen at the deadline to sort of try and help salvage their season. Uh, never really worked out, but Allen still has a year left on his deal, so it'll probably be a Markstrom Allen tandem for the next season, and that's a pretty good tandem in my opinion. You can have Schmid and Dawes play the AHL level, and then after this year, when Allen's contract's up, you can have one of Schmid or Dawes be a backup to Markstrom for Markstrom's final season in the contract. So this is a really good move, in my opinion, for the Devils. You know, for our Flames, they get two pieces here. I thought they could have gone a little more, but apparently with Markstrom having a no-movement clause, they might not want to wave to go to the teams like LA or Ottawa, so it would really handicap the Flames. So they do get a decent return here. So first they get Kevin Ball, who's a left-shot defenseman. Entering the final year of a two-year $1.05 million deal. He's going to be an RFA at the end of that deal. Uh, Ball's actually played pretty well over the past little while. Uh, not this past year, but the year prior. Put up two goals and eight points in 42 NHL games. Also, they assist in three AHL games. This past year, played all 82 games for New Jersey Devils. Putting up a goal and 11 points. So just sort of like Miramanov, uh, that they got in the Hannafin deal. Ball can be a easily a solid third-pair defenseman. Could eventually maybe be like a, a decent second-pair defenseman. But he's got big size big body, uh, can really knows how to use it, uh, he can produce offense at some points too, so Ball's a really good defenseman, he's not the greatest of prospects, but he's also on the younger side of things, and I think he could work out really well as a third pair defenseman for the Flames, so it's a pretty good uh, pick up there for Calgary to get a big body third pair defenseman, and they also get a conditional 2025 first round pick, now the first round pick is top 10 protected, so if the pick is in the top 10, then the uh, Devils will give the Flames a 2026 first round pick, so it'll be interesting to see, but it's not this year 
year's first round pick, it's next year. So interesting for the Flames, but at least you get another first round pick, even if it's not for this year and it is top 10 protected. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But this is a massive deal for both sides. I think at this point in time, I'd say the Devils win this deal. Not only do they get the better player, they're able to get the Flames to retain money and don't have to move one of Holtz, the 10th overall pick, or Dawson Mercer, which a lot of people were expecting they would have to move in order to get Markstrom. So I think this is a massive deal for the Devils. Uh, for the Flames, it's a pretty good return. A third pair defenseman, a future first round pick. I think it's a pretty good return for Markstrom, who didn't really want to be there anymore. And I, even though I think a lot of people were expecting a little bit more than that, I think getting those two things is going to help this Flames team during their retool slash rebuild, whatever you want to call it. So interesting stuff there, but the Flames have officially moved Markstrom, who is second on our trade bait list, to the New Jersey Devils with a little bit of money retained in exchange have received Kevin Ball and a 2025 conditional first round pick. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this trade. Who do you think won this deal? Was it the Devils getting Markstrom? Was it the Flames getting Ball and a 2025 first round pick? Love to hear your guys' thoughts on who you think won this deal and what sort of deals do you think we could see from the Flames and the Devils next. Definitely let your guys' thoughts on all of that down in the comment section below. So I'm going to talk for today. Remember to like this video. And if you like to, remember to subscribe down below. Thank you for your support and you're able to with all of you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. So I'll discuss today's video. I also blog talking about news, rumors, analysis, stuff like that. So if you check that out, leave a link in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys all for the next video. See you guys soon.